Hey, you found me! Hey, now all I gotta do is make you remember me. I could do that by making a funny face. Or making an impersonation. Like, let's talk about brand awareness, Scoob! I'm just kidding. What I'm actually gonna do is provide you guys some amazing content today on how to actually enhance and bring more brand awareness to your business or to your brand. So today's video is gonna be very exciting and I wanna jump right into it. So without further ado, let's roll. Hey guys, welcome back to another Adrian graphics and marketing video. I'm Adrian Boisel and excited to have you guys back here today. Today's video is about brand awareness, but first what I need you guys to do is hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get updated for all the videos I make. I post videos three days a week and we post a lot of great content from tutorials, training and mentorship. I love being a mentor and this is what I'm here for you today is to help you get more awareness around your brand. If you are not familiar with what brand awareness is, it's actually the first step in the funnel. And what I mean by funnel is the beginning of where customers start their journey in finding you and working with you. So if you don't have this perfected, this video is gonna help you do that. Now, brand awareness is being recognized and being remembered. Those are the two big keys to brand awareness is you need to be recognized and remembered. And how do you do that? Well, I'm gonna keep it very simple. I'm gonna break it into two parts. The first part is your visibility, and the second part is your content. So we'll start with visibility. You can do online visibility and offline visibility. As well, you can do paid traffic, and you can do organic traffic or free traffic. These are two really critical things that you need to understand, and I'm hoping that you're writing these down. Paid traffic is things like Google pay-per-click or Facebook ads or Google ads. There's all different types of paid advertising that you can do online. Then if you think about offline, you got events, networking groups that charge like BNI, you got conferences, these are areas and opportunities, you got mastermind groups. There's a lot of different paid methods that you can use to bring and put yourself in groups and communities with people that are like yourself or people that are interested in what you have to offer. Then you have the online stuff, which is typically gonna be organic and that's gonna be free. And you got free Facebook groups, free LinkedIn groups. You can create videos on YouTube. I don't know anybody that does that. Just kidding. You guys are watching me here on YouTube. But you can create free content on YouTube. I would say free from the perspective that it doesn't cost anything to upload your videos to YouTube or to TikTok or Instagram, but it may cost you some money to hire an editor or to buy camera equipment or maybe for a nice cell phone. So there are going to be some costs, but for the most part, the actual visibility side of your brand awareness is going to be free when you use things like Facebook and LinkedIn and Google and YouTube. So these are great platforms to build your brand awareness, but what you're gonna need is number two, and that's content. Not only are you gonna to need to create content, but then you're gonna to have to promote that content. And I want you to focus on being consistent. No matter what you do, your branding and your reputation and the authority that you build is dependent upon your consistency. Whether you're doing paid or free, if you're not consistent, it's not going to work. You can't expect to run a week or two week or three weeks worth of Facebook ads or Google ads and become a millionaire. It just doesn't work that way. You have to stay consistent for a long period of time. People need to understand and see you over and over and over again. There's something called the reticular activating system that's in your brain that takes human beings 13 to 14, 15 times of seeing you before they remember you. People that watch my YouTube videos once are not gonna remember me in a year from now. But if they watch 12, 13, 14, 15 videos of mine, the chances of them remembering me or remembering my silly voices or my silly intros is gonna be a lot higher. So that's something that you need to keep in mind and that's why I love video because it helps you connect with people easier. I can show my expressions, I can show my personality versus writing, it's harder to do that for me. And that's just the way that I like to communicate. So you wanna find a style of content that is natural for you. If you're an introvert and you don't wanna be on camera, then you probably need to write content or write Facebook posts or answer people's problems inside of Facebook groups or LinkedIn groups. These are all really good ways to build your brand awareness. Solving people's problems at the end of the day is what's most important with the content. You have expertise, you have knowledge, you have power that you can use to help solve people's problems and that's what people want. They're not wanting to hear about your features, they wanna hear about what's in it for them and how you're gonna benefit them. So those are really critical parts and then going out there and promoting that. If I create a YouTube piece of content, I can take this content that I'm creating here and I can put that on TikTok. I can take that and I can put it on Instagram. And I can take that, I can put it on LinkedIn. 
In fact, that's exactly what we do. So being able to use the content that you create to spread it across multiple platforms where your audience is actually congregating inside of Facebook groups, in, inside of uh, LinkedIn groups, on, on YouTube channels, getting very specific and targeted with your content is also very, very important. So these are all the things I wanted you to understand is the visibility side and the content side. You'll notice companies like myself and other big brands out there like Nike have done a really good job of promoting, creating content, putting influencers out there, spending a lot of money on ads. You see them everywhere, right? It's because they're making the investment to raise their level, raise the top of mind awareness of their brand. And so remember, visibility and content. You cannot have successful brand awareness without those two. So I hope this was very helpful for you guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet, make sure that you guys understood it. Uh, I was gonna use an analogy, but I decided to, to just keep it very simple and right to the point on this one. But I wanted to just help you guys out with that to help you guys get more brand awareness, start to help you get seen, and start to help you not be forgotten. So be authentic, be real, and make sure that you're solving people's problems. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. As always, keep looking up.